Hello everybody. Uh, today we uh, will learn uh, how to install Flutter on Windows or Mac OS. Uh, Flutter is a platform uh, which you use to write an application in iOS and Android. And uh, in this lesson, we click to this link to see the documentation and download the Flutter for Windows. The Flutter for Windows here we uh, choose. Uh, the stable version uh, download this stable version to your uh, to your folder in uh, Windows and now save this to your uh, download folder uh, extract this file yes extract this folder and here I also uh, <coughs> extract this and click to this uh, extract here extract here mean it will uh, extract the zip file into a Flutter folder yes and click to this folder and then you can copy or cut this to a easier to remember folder yes and then you paste to this uh, so in this case I choose the documentation or the document folder of uh, Windows and you copy this part and search for edit the system environment click to uh, part and add new part and paste your part here yes uh, your part of Flutter and it is a part for the Flutter photo and the part uh, part for uh, the binary and then we run the footer doctor to uh, diagnose uh, to make a diagnosis of your installation you access a power cell or common line and uh, type footer doctors okay uh, so here we can see the error or the successful uh, in this case you have to install android studio you install visual studio code and you connect your actual device you connect your emulator or simulator device and uh, android studio or visual studio code you can choose uh, one uh, you can only choose one uh, so search for Android Studio download in Google and download the Android Studio installation to your uh, download photo in here uh, this downloading process take long time so I have just downloaded here and extract the application and the installation is quite easy you can click and next and next it is quite simple for you and next and choose and android go to device or avd the avd manage your device or your emulator uh, and after the in installation complete uh, you can open or start the android studio application and click to sdk manager to manage the software development kit and you choose android 10 or android 9 depending on your purpose of developing your application and click to uh, here uh, to choose any uh, some of the android sdk platform and uh, choose some of the plugins you choose more plugin uh, and after finishing you click to finish and then you open the AVD manager or Android virtual device in Android virtual device you click to your device and click to your version uh, your application uh, your operating system version of Android so here I choose PCL ECL API uh, 28 you click here to start your virtual device or turn on your virtual device and you can you must also install more 
Android SDK Opless uh, Opsoless So click to uh, uncheck the high obsolete to show, to show the Android SDK tool or Android SDK platform tools and Google Play service yes and you click OK to accept your choosing and uh, the installation will take about uh, several minutes depending on your internet connection and just then you uh, uh, set up your Android device so here is the minimum requirement for Android device you click the SDK tool and install Google USB driver this allows you to access your device through USB cable on an USB port um, so now you put the doctor to diagnostic to make the diagnostic yes and then you you must uh, accept the android license by type this command and you press yes yes on uh, after reading you can uh, press yes to accept the, the agreement and what about the android studio you must install more plugin for that and flutter uh, that mean that is the programming language we support Flutter and you you use the DAP programming language for this course to develop Flutter uh, or Flutter application and type that yes and restart IDA to restart to apply the change for installation uh, and run the Flutter doctor again you can see the missing or the successful plugin and in this case you must install more uh, Android Tune Chain okay Android Studio okay so it is enough you can add more Visual Studio code but in this case you can only use Android Studio uh, so you CD code uh, this is a photo to save my uh, application my mobile application so the syntax here is Flutter create and project name type your project name the project name must not contain the special character not contain space not uh, start with uh, the number etc and here uh, it the Flutter will automatically generate the scaffold for your application including your iOS, your Android application and the library management so now you open the Android Studio browse to your installation browse to your project in this case my app click to my app and the Android Studio will recognize your project your Flutter project and here is a generated project and for running this project you click click to the run button in the menu bar yes it's quite easy like you run a normal mobile application in android so click to this uh, run and here it is the first application if you change a little bit you change the code you, you, you type to change the code and save this file by command s or control s in window or command s in mac os and then run again by saving the program will change so here it will change so now you install the flutter on mac os how to install this you do similarly with the window but here you must install more to uh, run the ios application by uh, running or downloading its code and android studio 
so download the flutter from mac os and open terminal uh, cd to change directory to the download folder in your mac os and it is a zip file you can unzip using the command unzip this file to extract or unzip this file to a photo a separated folder flutter and you check by uh, list and list all file in the flutter to see the file and you copy this or move this to documents and you add more part you 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 append this part uh, in mac os 10.15 you can access the part or append the part uh, using the, this file the file name set cell so z cell you uh, you edit this file z cell uh, run command uh, by dot c s h r c yes r c mean run common so edit this file and append a line to this so the line here mean you add the part of flutter flutter pin into the existing part or append more part to your existing environment variable yes you add more more to the environment variable this bin photo this bin uh, binary directory yes and you control x to assist the editing and save this file and so you list to list all the current file uh, you create a blank photo and uh, create a new project here a new project here is created by calling flutter create or you firstly flutter doctor to diagnose the flutter installation so here we have xcode we have android studio xcode here is very easy to install you access the app store search for xcode and download download and run the installation by click next next etc very easy to install xcode in mac os uh, so you create a new project uh, project using the common flutter create uh, project name my app and the scaffold is auto generated for ios and android photo uh, so you can run by typing this code line but uh, it is more easier to open with Android Studio so you open Android Studio browse to your uh, project by clicking document yes and browse to your flutter uh, so you open uh, the Android virtual device and start your device and and you run this program so you can do the same with iOS uh, simulator the same as uh, Android emulator and after running the code is hot reloading you change the code then the output will affect for example, you change title to this is the first application and you can see the output. Okay, so this is the end of my lesson today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye and see you again.